Curry drop that mask, that's your ass. Better duck your throat. Curry drop that mask, that's your ass. Better duck your throat. Kirk in the bus, start the car, he tapped. Crank through his wheel, he got hit all in traffic. Kirk in the bus, start the car, he tapped. Crank through his wheel, he got hit all in traffic. Kirk got a dirty stick. Kirk got a dirty stick. Me and LaCurk, we all up in traffic, we got them racks. The last n playing with us, I swear to God, we let him have it. Kirk calling my phone like, nigga, better be safe. Kirk calling my phone like, nigga, better be safe. Last nigga want his way, we shot his ass all in the face. Last nigga want his way, we shot his the subject of today's video is a Jacksonville demon that would do anything to avenge his loved ones. He's allegedly responsible for multiple murders in the state of Florida, and each one was allegedly an act of revenge. He showed no mercy to his enemies and would travel as far as necessary to catch them. He even seemingly confirmed that he allegedly killed three people and shot five people to avenge his brother's death. The subject of today's video is none other than Kurt Gotti, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Kurt Gotti, whose real name is Cortez Williams, was born on December 29th, 2002. He is from the 45th and Avenue B section of Jacksonville, also known as A Block. Kurt and many other people from A Block also claim Six Block, which is close by and has been popularized by the rapper Fulio. Together they go by the name Av6, which also includes other sets in that area such as Vontae Land. A Block and Six Block primarily beef with the fellow Jacksonville gangs. Head First, 1200 slash Cuckoo Gang, and ATK, made popular by the rapper Young and Ace. Kurt had been active in the streets for a while, but he went to a whole other level and became truly cold hearted after the death of his brother. Kurt's brother, Petey, whose real name was Antoine Williams, also went by the nickname 3-5. Tragically, he was shot and killed at just 18 years old. On May 3, 2020, at around 2.30 p.m., Petey and three other men were sitting in a car on the 2100 block of Brooklyn Road when a gunman hopped out of a white Kia sedan and began shooting at them. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office said that a gunfire detection system picked up at least 33 shots fired during the incident. Investigators later said more than 50 total shots were fired. Tragically, Petey was shot and killed, and the three other people with him that day were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. It is believed that Kurt was one of the people there that day, and he allegedly had to witness his brother's death. Like any other human being, seeing something like that would change you and turn your heart cold. It is widely believed that a 1200 member by the name of Leaky was allegedly one of the people responsible for Petey's death. Following Petey's death, people from 1200 would diss him non-stop and they would taunt Kurt for losing his brother. One 1200 member in particular named Wappa with the Choppa did it the most. Wappa would constantly mention Kurt in songs, laughing at him for witnessing his brother dying. Wappa took it to another level when in a song, he challenged Kurt and mockingly asked him if he was gonna slide for his brother. Damn, Kurt, you ain't gonna slide about your brother? Damn, Kurt, you ain't gonna slide about your brother? Well, just one week after that song was released, Kurt would allegedly take him up on his offer. On September 2nd, 2020, at about 1.30 a.m., Leakey was driving a car at the intersection of Atlantic Boulevard and Monument Road when another car pulled up beside him and opened fire. Leakey's car was riddled with bullets and he was taken to a hospital with life-threatening injuries where he tragically passed away. It is widely believed that Kurt was allegedly one of the gunmen responsible for Leakey's death and Kurt was allegedly joined by a six block member by the name of Spaz two times who was allegedly also one of the gunmen that day. There is a popular rumor going around that Leakey was allegedly drinking lean in his car when he died. Shortly after Leakey's death, 
Kurt and Spaz two times went on Instagram Live and seemingly self-snitched like crazy. In fact, on the IG Live, Kurt admitted to allegedly taking Leaky's cup of lean from his car when he died. I've been Leaky hot since Leaky died. Niggas smoke that whole that whole body about that nigga ain't bullshit. Man died cause I was in this bitch like this. When the second that nigga died, I sparked the blunt. <laughs> <laughs> All talking about the second nigga. Nigga was smoking a black while he would die. What? I took that nigga a couple of lean. Whoa. Crazy. All that shit though. <laughs> oh God. You know that boy was sipping that dirt dirt. That's bad, no, he don't know. Whoa! Flip mm -hmm. Call. Like, come here, Leaky, where you going? He was lacking on that lean, got his car hit. He was lacking on that lean, got his car hit. Ha ha. Leaky ever driving off the lean, got shot up in the face. Ha ha. Leaky ever driving off the lean, got shot up in the face. Uh -huh. Following the death of Leaky, Spaz two times would continue the alleged self-snitching. He posted a snippet of a song in which he pretty much confessed to being allegedly one of the people responsible for the death of Leaky. Tragically, about two and a half months after the death of Leaky, Spaz two times would be shot and killed. On November 19th, 2020, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office were called to investigate a shooting in the Moncrief neighborhood. The shooting occurred at the Hilltop Village Apartments, which is known to be the primary area where members of Six Block are from. Officers in Jacksonville Fire Rescue responded to the area for a reported shooting around 7.45 p.m. Upon arrival, Spaz two times was found with at least one gunshot wound. The police said he died at the scene. There are many rumors going around surrounding his death. Some believe that he was allegedly killed by members of 1200. Meanwhile, a famous rapper from Six Block by the name of K Shorty said that Spaz Two Times was killed by a baser, which is another word for a crackhead. To this day, nothing has been officially confirmed and the person or people responsible have not been caught. Regardless, Kurt had lost another person close to him, and this would make him even colder. Three months later, he would allegedly get his revenge. On February 20th, 2021, Kurt posted a cryptic message on Facebook saying, LOL, I know y'all thought this shit was over. We going up top. In the message, he shouts out his brother 3-5, thus seemingly hinting that he may be seeking more revenge for him. That same night, on the late night between February 20th and February 21st, 2021, two 1200 members named Michi and B-5 were shot and killed. Michi and B-5 were OGs in 1200 and were involved in the management that represented the rappers from 1200. In fact, Michi was considered the boss. Michi and B5 were in Orlando for a Little Dirt concert that was happening that night. Unbeknownst to them, multiple members of Six Block were allegedly there as well. After the concert, Michi and B5 were driving to Wendy's when a car pulled up next to them and opened fire. Michi and B5 were both shot multiple times and their car crashed into a bus stop near a Wendy's near the intersection of East Colonial Drive and Brumby Avenue. Both of them were declared dead at the scene. It is widely believed that Kurt was allegedly one of the gunmen responsible for their deaths. The most popular item on Wendy's menu is a 4 for 4. Kurt went on IG Live after they died and referenced a 4 for 4, allegedly hinting that they died to avenge his brother 3 5. Kurt a demon. Ah! Smoking dead, nigga. That shit fucked my soul off. Speaking on 3 5, now nigga throw them foes off. That's for 4, nigga. Fuck you talking about? 4 for 4. Literally. Since their deaths, Kurt and other six block members have been dissing them non-stop. 
fast food. How the fuck you end up there? I thought you was a boss. Fast food. How the fuck you end up there? I thought you was a boss. Man down, it's a fool, fool. Man down, it's a fool, fool. Block, smoking meat, jamming fire. That's a two for one. Block, smoking meat, jamming fire. That's a two for one. Kurt is currently in jail and is charged with two attempted murders. On June 21st, 2021, officers were dispatched to the 10700 block of Monaco Drive in reference to a person shot. The officers arrived at UF Health and spoke to two victims, one of which had sustained a gunshot wound to the neck. The other victim had also been shot at but did not get hit. The names of the victims have not been released to the public. One of the victims told police officers that they went to the Valero gas station at 10870 Hearts Road to get cigarettes. The victim told cops that they noticed an unknown black male individual wearing a bright orange shirt and jeans leave the store and get into a dark colored Dodge Charger. The victim stated that the individual was carrying a rifle in his waistband and went into the store prior to getting into the Dodge Charger. The Dodge Charger left the gas station and waited for the victims to leave the gas station as well. The victims left the gas station and the victim noticed the Dodge Charger behind them at the traffic light at the intersection of Hearts Road and Dunn Avenue. As they were driving, they noticed the vehicle was behind them again. So they turned into the parking lot adjacent to a checkers. When they entered the parking lot, the occupants from the Dodge Charger began shooting at the victim's vehicle several times. The victim fled through the parking lot and successfully escaped. He advised that he did not have any problems with anyone and did not speak to the suspect while he was inside the gas station. When the shots were discharged, he did not see who shot at them from the suspect vehicle, but heard the shots and the victim began driving at a high rate of speed. At the most northern entrance of the parking lot, detectives located 12 shell casings. The victim was struck in the neck and back by the bullets, and the police then proceeded to check the camera footage at the Valero gas station. While watching the surveillance footage, police observed that one of the individuals that was inside the Dodge Charger during the incident arrived at the store in a red sedan. He exited the red sedan and walked over to the Dodge Charger. Before getting to the Dodge Charger, he returned to the red sedan and retrieved a rifle. He placed the rifle inside his pants and walked into the store. The black male individual was wearing an orange shirt that said rocked and had a teddy bear with a guitar. He was also wearing light blue jeans, white and orange shoes, and a gold watch on his right wrist. The individual had tattoos on his right hand and both forearms. The individual had black dreads, a goatee, and a gold grill. The individual was identified as Kurt. At the time, his Instagram name was Kurt from the A. On the Instagram account, Kurt had posted several photos of himself wearing the same outfit and holding the same firearm that was captured in the video footage at the Valero gas station. The firearm utilized in the shooting in this case was recovered on June 24th, 2021 after executing a search warrant at Kurt's house. The firearm was submitted to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Firearm Laboratory and the shell casings recovered from the test firing of the firearm matched the rifle casings found at the scene, which were 5.56 caliber. Kurt was officially arrested on June 25, 2021. On that day, three people, including Kurt, were arrested following an officer-involved shooting. Police say the incident happened at DePaul Drive and Westmar Road around 9.30 p.m. when police were conducting surveillance on a person wanted for a firearms-related charge. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office reported seeing two people leave a house, one armed with a rifle, approach a police vehicle in an unmarked car. The detective inside the vehicle reportedly activated emergency red and blue lights to show the two people he was a member of law enforcement. The detective reportedly got out of the car and the two individuals, one of them allegedly being Kurt, pointed guns at him. The detective then fired multiple rounds, but nobody was hit by gunfire. 
the two individuals ran towards the house. Police later found one of the men on the roof. Kurt was taken into custody to face his charges. Kurt is currently in jail, facing two counts of second degree attempted murder, one count of unlicensed carrying a concealed firearm, one count of resisting a police officer, and possession of a firearm by a minor. He is facing decades in prison. For any young people watching, let this story be a lesson to you to never join a gang or get active in the streets. The only thing it leads to is pain and negativity in your life. You can't even leave the house without constantly having to look over your shoulder and you are always at high risk of death or jail. Let me know what you guys think of this situation in the comment section and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.